I'm gonna make his legs. All right. Oh, let's take a look at these legs. Okay, he's like all over this thing. So um, I'm gonna grab a number four Skoda. And so what I'm seeing, it's like his leg starts from his body right here. Goes to about middle here, comes down here, and then out here. Okay, so now we just kind of connect the dots. There's one little leg. So the back leg looks like it comes about here, kind of comes down to about here. And here, and then here. It's kind of a funky little leg, so it goes to connect the dots. Okay. All right, then he's got his tongue sticking out. Tongue's coming out about here and landing about here. And darken up his body right in here. And then I'm going to grab some of this brown color and accentuate underneath his body. Photographer did an amazing job. Okay, I need to add in some highlights. I'm going to grab some of my yellow, cadmium medium yellow, and I'm going to pop in some highlights. Might add a little bit white to that. Let's just take it up a little an extra notch. Clean off my brush in between because I'm picking up some color. I'm going to do that again. White, cadmium yellow, medium. And pop that on there. 
and then coming up over one uh, part of his leg is good too. Okay. I'm gonna pop on some little highlights onto a couple of those flowers. And mix the paint. And take some of this purple and some of this white. There you go. I'm going to grab some of this Neo McGilt too and put that in there and mix it in. Now, normally I don't mix in the color with the McGilt. Um, I add it as I go, but I'm doing it this way because I know I'm going to be done with the pile of paint today. If I were not, then um, I would not want to add the McGill because it'll be dry pretty quick. And But because I know I'm going to be done with this painting today, it's okay. I'm going to add some nice thick paint onto this. Getting a little petal behind his head. Pop on some white. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to mix my white up so I can grab it. I'm going to mix a teeny tiny touch of blue. Teeny tiny touch of the cobalt blue to my white. Okay, now my paint's nice and loose. I'm just touching in a few little spots. Give it that little extra add of extra punch. Okay, now we gotta do the antenna. So I'm grabbing my number zero <laughs> um, red sable. And I'm gonna grab oh some of this black. And I want it nice and thin, so I'm going to grab some of my Gamsol. 
and get it good and thin. So it kind of the one of the antenna comes out past the flower about here, and it comes straight in towards the head. Just like that. And the other one extends out over the flower, which is interesting. So it comes out past stamen and ends up about here in its head. Interesting. Okay. Alright, now a couple of little things. Um, there are highlights on the black areas. I'm going to scooch up my chair just a little bit. Okay, so there are highlights on the black areas. So we're going to add those in. I'm going to take this nice little white mixture that I made. That's kind of easy to move. And I'm going to add in those highlights. So I see it on the, the ridges of its wings and then also on the um, legs, you know, kind of the hard shiny things. <laughs> okay, and then I'm not sure what's going on in his head, but I see, I'm going to assume they're just little highlights up in here, so I'm just adding those. I think it would look good. And see, so it just says doop, 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 doop. So I'm going to fix that. I don't like that. It's not that much of a pattern on the. Butterfly. There we go. Okay. And I a couple of little intents. Darks, Just grabbing the black. And then I'm going to pop in a few more yellows here. Just grabbing the cadmium yellow medium. And adding that straight on. Add 
a few more touches of that. Spots. All right, I think I'm done. Eh, hold on, I see something. Okay, what I see is there's no shadow over here. I'm gonna add some shadow. Right under here. Well, it's better, right? It's got more dimension. Let me pop in a little bit of that right there. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week's challenge of painting a monarch butterfly onto a purple flower. And um, I would love to see your work. So uh, feel free to post it. Love to see it. So um, until next time, stay safe, happy, and healthy, and keep painting.